Installation art is, of course, an international phenomenon. And probably one of the most famous Asian creators of installation art is going to be Zhu Bing. Now, he is a native of China who was forced to work in the countryside with peasants during the Cultural Revolution. And he would later study printmaking in Beijing at the Central Academy of Fine Art, where he would become professor and vice president. And there he creates a very interesting piece. He will create a book from the sky. Now, it's going to be initially exhibited in China before being installed in Wisconsin at the Chazen or formerly the Elvium Museum of Art. Now, when we look at the piece, you'll notice that it is this massive room filled with what appear to be Chinese characters. Well, in reality, this is a made-up language. All of these characters are fictional. And he's using his extensive knowledge of woodblock technique to create all of these forms as cleanly as he is, creating, well, sort of this impenetrable wall of text, the fact that it's in a foreign language, not known to most people in the West, is going to be helpful because it gives us that sense of illegibility, and that's going to be rather important. You see, critics have interpreted the work, A Book from the Sky, as both a stinging critique of the meaningless of contemporary political language, and as a commentary on the illegibility of the past, specifically the illegibility of the past in authoritarian regimes, because of course they control their history. Xu himself has characterized the work as intentionally ambiguous, saying, quote, people have so many perspectives on Book from the Sky because the work is empty. The work does not present any clear message. I use every possible method to force people to believe in the legitimacy of the work, while at the same time extracting all comment, excuse me, all content completely. Thus, the artwork itself is a contradiction because it makes a parody of culture while also placing a culture in a temple to be taken very seriously. Book from the Sky invites your desire to understand it and pushes you away at the same time. It treats everyone as equal, educated or uneducated, Chinese or non-Chinese, because no one can, quote, read it. Like many postmodern artists and architects who reject pure formalism and express content and emphasize content and historical reference, Zhu created a book from the sky to be read on many levels, which is why it has such an ambiguous meaning in the first place. And that ambiguous meaning is very similar to what we get from a Pollock or a Rothko, very similar to ideas that we get from pop art and other movements. He's encouraging us to come up with our own individual interpretation, but in his case, he's asking us to not only interpret it, but then question it. Because you sit there and you look at it and you say, I understand this. And then the deeper you look, you go, I don't understand this. And then you come to another theory and you go, I understand it. And then again, you find yourself crying in the corner saying you don't. And that's postmodernism coming through this installation piece. Like so many pieces that we've looked at, it could be conceptual, it could be activist, it could be any number of things. What it is, is individual. What it is, is an ambiguous statement. One that is meant to force you to question your own ideas about what you're viewing.